welcome students to my youtube channel bharat chem study today we are going to study about the chapter chemistry in everyday life part 1 for plus 2 class for all the boards so let's begin with the chapter it involves some important definitions of medicines and their examples so the chemical substance used for the cure or treatment of diseases and reduce suffering from pain are called medicines or drugs and the science in which chemicals are used in the treatment of diseases and destroy the microorganisms without causing any injury to the host is called chemotherapy antiseptics the chemical substances which are used to lower the body temperature in high fever are called antipyretics for example aspirin paracetamol allergen etc the structure of paracetamol is given and the ipc name of paracetamol is n4 hydroxyphenyl acetamide allergy 6 the chemical substances which are used to relieve pain are called analgesics for example aspirin with the chemical name 2 acetoxy benzoic acid there are two types of analgesics narcotic and non narcotic analgesics so let's study them one by one first narcotic analgesics so these are the analgesics which are generally habit forming and produce sleep and unconsciousness whereas for example morphine and heroin whereas the non narcotic analgesics are those which give relief from the pain but are not habit forming for example aspirin ibuprofen etc so important fact about the analgesics aspirin is recommended to a heart patient because of its anti blood clotting action the use of aspirin in anti stomach should be avoided because it get hydrolyzed in stomach giving salicylic acid which sometimes cause bleeding in stomach and also may cause death tranquilizers so the chemical substances used for the treatment of stress and severe mental diseases are called tranquilizers for example barbutyric acid these act as a on higher nervous system and are also called psychotherapeutic drugs these release mental tension and reduce anxiety and are the consumed of sleeping pills antiseptic the chemical substances which are used to either kill or prevent the growth of microorganisms are called antiseptics for example we talk tincture of iodine butanol etc they can be safe, safely applied on the living tissue and bones and cuts they are also used to reduce odor resulting from bacterial decomposition of body or in the mouth important point about antiseptic antiseptics ditol is a mixture of chloroxanol and terpenol ditol ditol is added to soap to impart antiseptic properties to reduce the odor produced by the bacteria on the skin tincture of iodine is 2 to 3% solution of iodine in alcohol which is a powerful antiseptic for bones a dilute solution of boric acid is used as a weak antiseptic for eyes and hydrogen peroxide is also used as a non irritating strong antiseptic for the washing of bones disinfectant the chemical substances which are used to kill microorganisms but they are different from antiseptics because they cannot be applied on the living tissues for example phenol phenyl chlorine etc a 1% solution of phenol act as a disinfectant while in lower concentration of 0.2% solution phenol can act as antiseptic agent anti malaria the chemical substances used for the treatment of malaria are called anti malarials for example penicillin anti microbials these are the chemical substances used to cure infections against microorganisms or microbe for example 
sulfonamides or salicylic acid, etc. Antifertility drug. The chemical substance used to control the pregnancy, they are also called oral contraceptive or birth control pills, example, novel stroll, malady, etc. Antibiotics. The chemical substances which are produced by the microorganisms and can exhibit the growth or even destroy other microorganisms are called antibiotics, for example, penicillin. They are further classified in two types, broad spectrum antibiotics and known and narrow spectrum antibiotics. So first of all, we are going to study about broad spectrum antibiotics. The antibiotics which are effective against several types of harmful microorganisms and used to cure a variety of diseases are called broad spectrum antibiotics. For example, chloramphenicol is effective against a variety of diseases like typhoid, tube fever, whooping cough, eye infection, and certain urinary infections. Tetracycline and afloxin are more broad spectrum antibiotics. There is other definition you can learn. Narrow spectrum antibiotics. Those antibiotics which are effective against only a few gram posting or gram active bacteria are called narrow spectrum antibiotics. They are effective against a single organism or disease. They are referred to as limited spectrum antibiotics. For example, penicillin G has a narrow spectrum antibiotic. Antacids. So, chemical substances which are Neutralize excess acid in gastric juice and give relief from acidity are called antacids. They include the aluminum hydroxide and liquid magnesia and rentidine is a common example of antacids. Generally, liquid antacids are more effective than tablets because they have more surface area and easily assimilated. The excessive use of hydrogen carbonate can make the stomach alkaline and trigger the production of even more acid. Hence, metal hydroxides are better because they are insoluble and do not increase the pH above the nuclear. Antihistamines or anti-allergenic drugs. The chemical substance which diminish the main action of the histamines release in the body and hence prevent the allergic reactions are called antihistamines or anti-allergenic drugs. For example, guarantee or even anesthetics, the chemical substance which produce general or local insensibility to pain and other sensations are called anesthetics. For example, cocaine, chloroquine, vinyl. Anesthetics are generally used during the operations to make insensibility to pain. So these are the important definition and example. The main chapter will be covered in the next video. Please subscribe the video. Thank you.